Now, something I definitely need some help with, Mel, and my bank manager would agree, it's budgeting. I'm pretty useless, to be honest. Yeah, I would agree with you there. It's not my strong point at all. And I, I've tried to make budgets in the past and failed miserably. Yeah, I'm useless. Because apparently when you make them, you've got to stick to them. <laughs> oh, that's the secret. Who knew? <laughs> so we wondered if everyone was just as bad as we are. So we talked to the streets of New Zealand to find out if that is the same for everyone else. Uh, we kind of try to, yes. Around 200, 250. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> try to, but no. <laughs> no. No, not at all. <laughs> Just whatever it adds up to be. No. Try. Try. It doesn't always work, but I try. Wow, OK, so it looks like we're not alone. After all, are we, are uh, being pretty bad at, at budgeting? And luckily, I have the man with me right now who can offer us some great advice. So you're a business and financial advisor, obviously, John. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Mel. So first up, I must ask you, why should we budget? It seems like a very obvious question, but it's not, is it? Uh, no, it's not, and unfortunately, a lot of people do it poorly or, or don't actually do it at all. Okay. Uh, the reason we need to do it is obviously make sure we, we get through life and achieve... Right, and we don't end up with those red little bits in our bank accounts every month. Correct. We have some black things every now and again, which is always nice, isn't it? And a holiday is good too. OK, so yeah. if we're thinking about budgets, who should be setting the budgets? Uh, the budget's really got to be set by the people that provide the income. OK. And collectively, singularly or collectively, depending how many people contribute, they need to get together and be honest and, and um, work out what they've got to spend each month. Okay, and that must be quite difficult at times too because if I actually went through and added up exactly what I spent on coffee per week, yep. I think it would be a lot more than what I actually, in my head, like to pretend I spend on coffee each week. Absolutely, and there's a number of other expenses, um, donations to charity and all the little bits and bobs, buying your lunch rather than making your lunch, etc., that, that fritters away money that you actually don't realise. And when you actually accumulate it all over a week or a month, mm. it totals quite a lot more than you would realise. So where do I start then? If I want to start a budget, if I'm starting from scratch, what do I do? I think well, what you've got to do is you've got to be a bit honest with yourself. Mm. Um, so the participants in the budget, whether it's you yourself or you and your partner... It's going to be a horrible meeting. Yes, I know, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but you really do need to be honest. You need to be honest about your income. And when you're looking at your income, look at the income you can rely on every week or month, depending on your pay cycle, rather than bonuses and commissions that are discretionary. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is you can rely on that income and then you've got to be very, very honest honest about all costs okay. throughout the month. So just quickly then, what is the one tip that we can do to start getting on the right track? Make a commitment to actually sit down and go through the process. Okay, so make that meeting with your husband, your partner, your flatmates, whoever it may be, sit down and work through the money stuff. Absolutely. Okay, that has been enlightening and uh, I know there's lots of apps and websites you can go to as well, so I am uh, now feeling suitably uh, bad about my budgeting and so I'm going to go and do some after the show, perhaps. 